सबसे पहले घबराना नहीं है Muhammad had an adopted son named Zaid bin Muhammad. He would like to marry off Zaid. Zaid, I would like to marry you with Zainab. I think she would be a great wife for you. Yes, Rasulullah. Let's go to her place. Zainab, I want you to marry Zaid. What? He? He used to be your slave. I thought you want to propose me. No, no way. I don't want to marry him. He was a slave and I have a higher social status than him. You have to marry Zain. Oh, Razalullah, do you really want to tell me what to do? <gasps> If I already decide something for you, then you need to obey. Quran, Surah Al-Azab, verse 36 says, It is not for a believing man or a believing woman when Allah and his messenger have decided a matter that they should have any choice about their affair. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger has certainly strayed into clear error. Okay, I will marry Zaid. He held a wedding ceremony for Zaid and Zainab. One day, Muhammad tried to find Zaid in his house. Zaid, are you there? But Zaid was not at home. As the wind blew the curtain aside, Prophet Muhammad saw Zainab naked in her chamber. It was difficult for Muhammad to hide his feelings toward his daughter-in-law. Rasulullah, perhaps Zainab has excited your admiration, so I will leave her. Wait, Allah sent a message to me. Quran, Surah Al-Azam, verse 37. And remember, O Muhammad, when you said to the one on whom Allah bestowed favor and you bestowed favor, keep your wife and fear Allah, while you concealed within yourself that which Allah is to disclose. No need for me to conceal my feelings. Since Allah will disclose it any in the Quran, Surah Al-Azab, verse 36, Allah forced Zainab to marry Zaid. But just one verse later, Allah married Muhammad to Zainab. Why is Allah more concerned with fulfilling the Prophet's sexual desires than anything else? A marriage celebration was held for Muhammad and Zainab. After a while, most people left Muhammad's house, but three people still remained. These people are still here. Why didn't they leave? Don't they know that we want to be alone? <laughs> the prophet showed displeasure with them. Look, he tried to show us that we should leave. Why not telling us directly? Maybe he needs all his help to get rid of his guests. <laughs> At last, what am I supposed to do? Ask them to leave? People just have no manner. Here is the verse to get rid of guests who stay for too long in your house. Quran, Surah Al-Azam, verse 53. O oh, you who believe, do not enter the homes of the Prophet unless you are given permission to come for a meal and do not wait for its preparation. And when you are invited, go in, and when you have eaten, disperse without lingering for conversation. This irritates the Prophet and he shies away from you, but God does not shy away from the truth. <laughs> Allah mother sa